collaborator short on shorts and today I have the pleasure of interviewing director Charles Frank who directed Clint Smith Beyond This Place. The link is below. Be sure to check it out after the interview of course. Charles, thanks so much for joining me. Of course, yeah, my pleasure. So right before our interview, I was scrambling to go back because by the way, this film it explores uh, Clint Smith's experience teaching prison inmates poetry. and. I was going to talk to you about uh, the filming process, and I realized I didn't see any actual footage inside the prison. And, I, and so I was wondering for you as a filmmaker, did you run into issues that led to you having to find creative solutions, or was that an intention from the start of the film? Um, yeah, I think there definitely were uh, issues. Like the, the initial thought, the obvious approach was kind of like, yeah, let's see if we can film in a prison and see what one of these you know, lessons kind of looks like. Um, but there were some issues with getting access and that being a viable option. Um, that said, kind of that constraint forced us to think about how we could represent his experience in a different way. Um, and so that's kind of how we came to what the film ended up being. Yeah, I actually thought that it worked really well having it just be him. I was trying to imagine what it would be like to have, um, to have, you know, solidified these the inmates by, you know, actually showing them. And I thought, I'm not sure if you needed it. Because it was really about, it was really about what he learned through his experience, right? And so by being empty, it was kind of like a, a metaphor for being inside his own mind and like, you know, reliving the space in a way. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting because when I, I met up with Clint before we made the film, he was telling me that when he was teaching the class, uh, it was hard for him because he wasn't allowed to take any of the writings of the inmates out of the prison with him. Wow. So he was kind of left with these memories and these ideas and wow. uh, these experiences, but he had to sort of just carry them in his mind. And so when he wrote the poem, it was kind of this translation of his experience from in the, in the prison uh, and what he could remember and his way of sort of expressing their voice through, through something else. Um, so yeah, it ended up, I think, working out pretty well because our film similarly was just a translation of Clint's experiences, uh, but not literally, not like a direct kind of like exact interpretation. It was uh, a little bit more abstract. Yeah, yeah, I definitely appreciated that. Can you tell me about um, the genesis of the project? Uh, what made you decide to do it? Is it something that you, do you normally do documentaries? Yeah, um, so I, I, I am a documentary director, um, and that actually came about because <laughs> I had started in doing narrative narrative work, but I was finding it difficult to to make work that felt really like a lot of my work just felt very like empty and not from an informed place. And it was when I started doing documentary, I felt like I could take other people's stories, other people's like real experiences and, and make something more authentic with it. So that's how I got into that. With this project, um, this was actually for a conference called Future of Storytelling. Mm -hmm. It happens every year. And they reached out to a handful of filmmakers uh, hoping to do pieces on their speakers at the conference. Um, but the way the conference works is the speakers aren't uh, just presenting in front of an audience, they're having a roundtable discussion. So they want the people that are coming to these roundtable discussions to have a sense of the subject matter before going into the discussion. So they kind of make these films to help uh, boil down the ideas of the speaker and, and give people some context. And this is kind of our, um, our way of approaching that. For any filmmakers who are watching this today, um, can you give some insight into how to build a career to get to a place where um, you're getting those phone calls to participate in something like this? Like, what were your steps that you took? Um, you know, I think it's, at least for us, it's, it's just been like making work. As, as much as we can make the things that, that really are representative of who we are as filmmakers, uh, what we believe in, and we can find ways to, to do that on our own and, and put that out into the world. Um, the ultimate goal is that people start calling you to want to, to want what you're passionate about. Right. Um, and in this case, that, that is kind of what happened. We had done a few other documentaries, a, a few other pieces, and we were reached out to because they had seen that work online and, and they had thought, um, this would be an appropriate filmmaker for this project. So that's the goal, and, and that's something we're still, you know, constantly striving for. Charles, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. 
Everyone at of home, course. yeah, everyone at home, be sure to click the link below and check out Clint Smith Beyond This Place and come over to Short on Shorts and see our review of the film. This was one of my selections, by the way. I absolutely loved it, Charles. Um, and be sure to check out some of his other work as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Michelle Nunes.